So, hey guys, it's only a video in a while, and yes, you probably missed me, and yes, I think I look cool with shades on, so, F you if you don't like it, it's okay, like, there's hair on my mouth, ew, pain in the ass, so, um, I'm here to talk about, um, uh, piercings, because I've been watching a lot of piercing videos, and I'm here to talk about piercing myself for the first time. No, actually, second time. The first time I talked about it was so good. But uh, I'll be going with there with you just to refresh your memory. Um, so I have uh, let's see, nine, ten, no, eleven, like eleven holes in my body. Most of them are in my ears. But I do have, you know, two that aren't in my ears. Not the same piece. One of them is not actually in my ear. So, one person. Okay. So I have close to the camera. You can't see them, but I have four piercings. I mean, five piercings up to here and. The, Two are really close because I screwed up when I did them, and it was the first time I've ever pierced my body by myself. And, um, yeah, so that was a big mistake. I would suggest piercing your body, but, uh, I kind of, it's fascinating. I might be a piercer someday. It, it does fascinate me. Piercings do fascinate me. I don't know why, they just do. So, you know, maybe I'll turn out to be a piercer. I just graduated on Sunday. Congratulations to me. I uh, totally off topic, but, you know, I might end up that way. And it's going to be hard because I do have fake nails on. So, I'm going to show you what I can do and what I can't do. Um. Oops, okay. that. Um. My music went away. Oh, no. Okay, well, you can't hear it, but I did, and I like my music when I talk, because I feel like I'm not talking so much because I really am, because it's all me, I'm vlogging, um, and I feel it kind of hard, so I'm going to try to make this quick as possible, and it's already been like three minutes, but, you know, whatever, okay, so, and I have five piercings up to this little curve in my ear, And then, let's see if I can find it. No. I really suck at this. Uh, that's why I said I'm not glad I'm not glad I can't find the house. And then, this doesn't have a backing to it right now. But, I'm because I'm cleaning it. But then I have my cartilage. This I did myself. Up here. It's just a little. It's like not even a full hoop. Let's see, this is why it's hard. I can take nails, but you know, I like having long nails and fake nails are the easiest way to go. It's not even a full hoop, you know, see it. Yeah. And that's over your ear. This part right here. But, yeah. Um, uh, that. Um. I did that myself with a needle, and I have a high pain tolerance, so it did not hurt me. Um, all day was go pop, 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 and, you know, it was, um, over with. A little bit of pain, but not much after. Um, then I have three on this year. That's three normal ones that I got the first pierce. The first holes I got when I was four. Then in fourth grade, I got my second holes, and then a couple years ago, I got my third holes. I think, like, either eighth grade or freshman year. I think it was the end of eighth grade, I got these, my third holes. And then, I do have my nose pierced. Let me see if I can be close. I do have my nose pierced. And I did do that myself, and I wouldn't recommend it, and I was stupid. But, um, but first, 
I had my belly, I had my belly button pierced. But then the, um, people screwed up on it. So I got a scar. I got a scar there now, so I did trust after that. I didn't trust anyone to do my own piercings. And I really wanted my nose pierced. I'm sorry, sorry, I lost it. Um, so I went to Cali Beauties and got a nail gun, which they, I mean, either person gun, or I was saying nail gun. <laughs> Do they even have a nail gun? Yeah. Oh yeah, nail gun, like nail, haha, ha. I was thinking like nails, like nail tab, so funny. I mean, I got an ear piercing gun, which was 17 bucks at Bitterface, and then uh, I got the cheapest one, of course, but you know, that's also the da most dangerous one. Um, and I got an earring, which was the little gold one I showed you. This one. That was, um, 18 bucks. No, not 18. Why am I, what, what am I saying? Um, it was 18. It was like 7 bucks. And then the nose ring cost, um, 7 bucks. Which, I didn't even have a nose ring at the time. So, let like, you know. And if I can pull up on my phone, I can show you the steps of what I did. But, um, this is going to be a long video. I took, um, an ear piercing gun and I loaded up the earrings and it, it meant for it. So, I, it took me four days. I do have a high spine tolerance, but it did hurt because it wasn't perfectly done. And it was just, you know, uh, first time I did it, it took me... I'm not saying my nose, but you know what I mean. Um, the first day I did it, I got halfway through, uh, freaked out, and called it quick halfway through. And I was like, fuck this, this hurts, I'm not going to do it. You know, I just took the nose ring out. Spent two days in pain. Stupidest thing ever. I don't know why I did it, but I spent two days in pain. I was like, what the fuck? I'm like, I can spend these two days in pain and have my fucking nose pierced. So, <laughs> what I did then, is after the fourth day, on the fourth day, I took the fucking ring, earring, and I took, put it in the gun, and I did it again. I got halfway through, and I started freaking out. I was like, oh my god, <laughs> I'm like, why did I do this again? I'm like, oh, I take it out, and then I, like, realized it was almost out. And I was like, wait, I'm like, thinking to myself, I'm like, Katie, you just spent two days in freaking pain and could have had the nose ring with that much pain. And then I was like, well, how stupid am I? And so I finally just, you know, clicked and I was like, oh my god, oh my god, I did it. And then I spent so much pain. It wasn't funny. So this is the first ring I had in my nose. I don't know if it was so well. Maybe not. Well, it's real well. Yeah. That's what this is the first screen when I first pierced it. Then I didn't actually have another thing at the time, which I should be, which I should have bought out. I bought one, but my mom didn't freaking. I don't actually did have money a little bit, but my mom didn't know that I was doing this until after. And uh, that's what. That's uh, an earring. That's an earring in my nose because I did not have a nose ring, so I put an earring in. And then a few days later, I put my mom got me a nose ring. That's my first nose ring. I don't even know where that nose ring is anymore. But um, <coughs> that's my first nose ring, and my mom bought it for me so she, after she saw that I had an earring in my nose. That even freaked her out more. She's like. Not only did you pierce your nose, but now you, but now you have an earring in your nose, and we're like, well, Mom, I didn't even think about buying a nose ring. So I could, mo well, actually, no, I actually bought it. Never mind. So she, gave, she actually gave me money to go to Walmart and buy nose rings, which is like three for like seven bucks or six or eight. It varies from like three from like six to like. Six for eight or something like that. It's pretty neat how they're they're cheap and they're they're good. Um, yeah.
so fun and then so that was everything in the world. and I did that myself which I still wouldn't recommend anyone doing just to let you know uh, <laughs> going on my 12th of this now uh, <coughs> so uh, a, few, a week ago you guys say about is it been a week a week ago today I got my uh, people we call it um my do uh Monroe but I call it, what I've done my research it is called a Madonna because I have my piercing on my left and if I had my lip pierced on my lip left where Madonna had a beauty mark that would be a Madonna but I mean, I'm Monroe, because Mon Marilyn Monroe had a beauty mark right here, but, uh, I forgot her name, Madonna had a beauty mark on her other side of the face, so that's right, on her right, that's right, called a Madonna piercing, but you can call it Monroe, I don't know, whatever you want to call it, but I got it done a couple days ago, I mean, a week ago. It, uh, it only feels like it's been like two, three days off, but it's been actually a week. And, um, I went to professional, and I did get it done at Pins and Needles in Biddeford, and I recommend it. Alex is awesome. Uh, my friend Dakota went to him, and I saw it on her Facebook, and he is awesome. Um, the first time the whole, I walked in, I was so nervous, and he gave me this paper. He was like, your ID, and he's like, oh, copying it. I gave him my driver's license, he's copying it. And I, <laughs> he's doing, like, all this shit. I gave him this paper and telling me to sign here, and initial here, and date here. And I'm like, oh, shit. I'm like, I don't know. I'm just going to go and go for what I remember. Because I'm so guilty. I'm like, I'm getting it done. Like, after all this time, like, it's a graduation present. So I finally got it done. I mean, like, it's so awkward. Just, I was at the counter, and there was one other guy sitting on the couch, and, like, another guy came in later before the piercing, but they're, like, all friends. I'm like, oh, God. I'm like, I just want this over later. I'm like, stop talking. Um, so, um, awkward moment. So, um, the worst part I ever thought about when I got my belly button, when I got my lip done, is the clamp, like the clamp, uh, when they have the clamp, they pierce it, they bought it, and you know what, I said, I said, I like it where it is, you know, I think it's cute, like, you know, they, they're like, is it okay, and I'm like, yeah, you're the professional, it should look okay, and I'm like, the clamps are like the worst part of the piercing, I'm also getting my tongue pierced, my next one, excited about that, but it's not going to be to the end of summer, so I'll make a video when that is done, <laughs> to show you guys, but, Um, so, clamping, and then he's like, Freddy, one, two, three, put it right through. I didn't even breathe. Like, he just stuck it right through. He didn't tell me to breathe. And then, you know, put the piercing in. And it, I, and I was like standing there with glasses on because I had, was driving. And I was like trying not to cry. I was like, ooh. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I'm like, oh, and he's like, you're doing such a good job. And I'm like, Saying in my head, I'm like, oh my god, I'm trying not to cry right now, it hurts. Like, it doesn't really hurt, but, you know, it, like, it definitely is irritated, you know. It's only been a week, it's still swollen, it's still red, it's normal, it's gonna at least take a couple, it's gonna take at least a week and a half to two and a, two weeks, two and a half weeks, three weeks tops. Um, I'm supposed to have it in for three weeks until I can change it, so I still have two more weeks to go, and when that is done, I will buy, I'm actually buying a Bioplast lip ring, which is bi better for, you, for your teeth, because I right now have the metal one in, and it keeps rubbing against my teeth, so I'm ruining them, oh, um, so I'm going to get Bioplast one, which is going to be easier, um, uh, yeah, so that's going to be lovely, um, it actually still does hurt to move, it, you know, but it's a little bit swollen, it's still a little bit red, I keep icing it, you know, mouthwash after every meal, um, I clean it 
two one uh, one or two times a day, which you should be cleaning it two to three times a day, but you know, I'm not very good on that thing. And um yeah, so I told you this was a long video about piercing about my experience of piercing, you know. Um, I wouldn't suggest the people that screwed up on my belly button ring and also who has screwed up on someone else's I know is Koopa's creations not to diss them. Like, they probably do better piercings, like, facial piercings and stuff, but with belly buttons, I know they screwed up with mine and I know they screwed up with someone else's. Like, I wouldn't suggest going to them for belly button piercings, but if you, like, want facial piercings, it, they are sanitary, they are nice, like, they have a little room up in the middle of nowhere. Like, up the second floor is piercings, and it's really sanitary, I like it up there. And it's why, <laughs> and the woman's really nice, it's just, I don't think they really know how to, I don't think she really knows how to pierce belly buttons, so, then, I, that's my suggestion, don't go there, but, you know, if you want to try it for yourself, go ahead. Um, <laughs> let me know your experience with them. Um, so, that's all I gotta tell you about piercings, and I'll... See you in a couple weeks when I change this one for the first time. Actually, I'm going to do it on camera when I first change it. It's going to be a bioplast one, which is easier. If you don't know what bioplast is, look it up. It's clear. It's really <laughs> nice. <coughs> if I get my, I'm uh, my planning on getting my tongue done, and I'm also planning on getting my belly button done. So one. When I change this, or if I get my tongue or my really button done next, um, I'll sure let you guys know. I'll definitely change this one for the first time on here so you can see it and go through this experience with me. So it's been 17 minutes now. Sorry about the long video, guys, but you know, piercings are piercings, and I love piercings, so I'm obsessed with them. <laughs> I'll see you all later. I love you all. Thanks for following me.